Hi, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. A common question that we get asked from other boaters is, Jeff, I've got a solar panel, but I'm not sure if it's working. How do I confirm that it's doing what it should be doing? So here I'm going to give you on this little video some tips and tricks on how do you go about troubleshooting your solar panel. So the first thing is let's remember how does a solar panel interconnect to your batteries. You're going to have a solar panel, either dedicated controller, and then a battery connected via fuse. That's sort of the process, right? You've got solar panel connected to controller, either PWM or MPPT, and then that controller, which converts the voltage from the panel, either up or down, depending on the size of the panel, to a fuse connected directly to the battery. That's how it should be wired. So the first thing is you want to make sure that you do this in good sunny conditions. So try to go for, you know, high noon, one-ish, two-ish. So we've got the best conditions, not cloudy, blue sky, right? So we have ideal situation. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to put a blanket on top of your solar panel. You're going to cover it. And then once it's covered, you're actually going to disconnect the MC4 connectors, these connectors, because you want to measure the voltage output of this panel when it's actually not connected to your controller. And you're literally going to put multimeter leads right in here and here, and you're going to measure what is called the open voltage of this panel under direct sunlight, like we were saying, around midday in good sunlight. That's one thing. You're then going to basically recover the panel again, and then you're going to basically connect the leads back. And now with the panel, again, uncovered, of course, you're going to measure what is the voltage on the input side of your MPPT or PWM controller. You're going to want to measure what that voltage is. Then you're going to measure the voltage on the battery side of your MPPT. Make sure that the battery side sees the battery, right? You should have some sort of voltage that is representative of what the battery voltage is. And if you're unsure, what you can do is actually put a blanket on here. So basically your solar array is not working. And you should, when the solar array is not working, you should be able to see the exact, give or take, voltage at the battery and then at the battery connection on your controller. Those two have to align. And if they don't, it probably means that there's maybe a break in the line, and the break is likely the fuse between the battery and your controller. And then basically do a couple tests. Do a test with a blanket on where nothing is connected, so you basically make sure you've got good connectivity and then take the blanket away and see what happens to the voltage. There's going to be an input voltage to the controller. The input voltage is from the solar panel, and there's going to be an output voltage. That's what the controller gives the battery. Now, don't be alarmed. Some panels actually are outputting less than 12 volts. There are some panels that are giving nominal 8 volts, 10 volts, 12 volts, and the controller is built to boost the voltage to the right battery voltage. Some other panels are more 20 volts. Some we put in arrays are you know, 40, 50, 60 volts if they're wired in series. That's okay. You've got the voltage coming into the controller and then the voltage is converted and then it gives to the battery what it needs. So those are sort of tips and tricks of things you've got to look like or look for. Write all these notes down, right? Make sure maybe you have put in an email or something like that. And then that way when you present that to your technician or another fellow boarder who's knowledgeable, they'll be able to start making sense if your solar panel is doing what it should. Thanks for watching.